A lot of smart home users uses Tuya or smart life devices in Home Assistant. They kinda work, but keeping everything stable is the harder part. If you're using the official Tuya integration, it's all cloud-based, which means when Tuya servers go down or the internet connection at home is lost, your Tuya devices stops working. Okay, so you try Tuya local integrations instead. They are faster and works offline. But those local integrations are not stable. The device may become unavailable from time to time, so automations fail, and your dashboard cards will not respond. So if cloud fails, and local fails, now what? The secret is to use both, but dynamically. For example, this is a custom card I created. It works normally, but if the internet drops or the default Tuya integration stops responding, it becomes unavailable. With one tap on this button, it switches to the other Tuya integration, so this way, you can keep controlling the device until the issue is resolved or the default integration returns. We'll do the same for automations as well, but allowing them to switch integrations automatically. First, obviously, you need to have both Tuya Cloud and Tuya Local set up. The Tuya Cloud is there by default, and most of you already have it. The Tuya Local has two options as of now. Local Tuya and Tuya Local. Use the one you like. I personally prefer Tuya Local. I will leave links in the description to help you set them up in case you need that. Let's start by building an automation that uses both integrations. Simply, when you want to turn the light on, for example with a button, first we need the automation to check if the local Tuya device is available before running the actions. Start by adding a trigger. In my case, I want a button trigger. Next, create a choose block. In the first option, we want to check if the Tuya local light entity state is not available or unknown by adding a not type condition. Duplicate the condition and set this to unknown. If the condition passes, which means the device is available, we run the action, such as turning the light on or off. Next, duplicate the first option and change the entities to Tuya Cloud. This does the same thing, but for the Cloud Tuya entity. So from now on, every time you want to use a Tuya or Smart Life device in automations, do this check, instead of just turning it on or off. That is it for automations. Next, let's fix the dashboard card. Because if the entity is unavailable, you don't want to see a dead and unclickable card. I will leave a link in the description to the cards, to copy them for free. But let's create them here, so you will be able to recreate it as you like, and for different devices, once you understand the logic behind it. Make sure to install these integrations from Hacks, as they are required to build the card. If you don't have Hacks, I will leave a link in the description to help you out with that. First we need to create a toggle helper for the button. Go to Helpers tab, and create a toggle helper for every device you want to fix its card. It's better to use a prefix so you always find those toggles easily. I will name mine like this, with this being the prefix for the entity. Back to the dashboard, start by adding a card. First, we need a vertical stack. We need to add two conditional cards in this stack. Let's add the first one. Use the helper toggle we created earlier in the condition like this. Inside this conditional card, let's add a vertical stack in card, which let us place multiple cards vertically. The cards are the light card and the button. Let's add the light card and configure it like this.
Next, add a chip card for the button, which we will use to toggle between the integrations. Now, to place the button correctly and style it a little, add this card mod styling. It will be in the description. Look how nice the button looks now. We can style the card itself too. This is optional, but it will make the card look way better. Just add the styling like this. Now go back to the top of the vertical stack and duplicate the conditional card. We just need to change the condition to the off state and change the light entity to the other integration, in my case the local version. Then save. Just like that, we have a clean card that can switch between integrations with a single click. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more Home Assistant, Smart Home, and Home Lab tutorials.